Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. So guys, we know Sexy Red calls herself the Raw Dog Queen, but that title may need to go to our girl, Kimmy Cakes, because like hell, she's doing these men hella dirty. And when I say dirty, I mean real dirty based on some information that I've come across. Now, I want you all to take it with a grain of salt because we really have no trace of evidence besides a few blind items that we came across um, a few months ago and an interaction that we saw with Kim, Pete, and Usher at the Met Gala. And we can judge from body language that that conversation, honey, it really add some unpleasantries in there i'm jumping into what we're hearing real quick okay now it is said that pete is mad at kim because kim used him and kim is there living her best life making a ton of cash and i'm learning that kim might be taking her money into different places to you know I'm not accusing anyone of an, um, tax evasion, but I'm learning that they have a new scheme, allegedly, just to evade taxes, allegedly, not as been proven, so we have to call it a conspiracy theory, right? But, back to Pete, it is said that Pete hates Kim K's guts, he hates her, and he wants to go off on her. He wants to expose her. He wants to trash her because, you know, some things went down between the two that is eating Pete alive. And he's not able to talk about it from a public standpoint. And as such, it is basically, you know, hampering on his spirits. But his friends are encouraging him. They are motivating him. And they are you know, ensuring that he's getting the help that he needs. Now, when I heard this information, I was like, no, I'm not going to release this um, today because that was yesterday. It was 9-11, the date when, you know, Pete's father had passed and, you know, his mother put up a memorial and all of that. And I wanted to be respectful whether the information was factual or not. I believe that no matter who you are, we should always be cognizant of the fact that we're all human beings and we all have feelings at the end of the day, whether Pete was right or wrong initially. Now, let's talk some more, right? Now, we know that Pete has recently been to therapy, getting his treatment, working on himself. But you know what one of my subscribers reminded me of? was when P told Ye that Ye should remember to pick up his meds. And I'm like, damn, man, do you see how karma rolls? Karma is like, you know what? I'm going to give you this rope. I'm going to give you this mother, mother rope so you can yourself. Because you're telling this man to remember that he should pick up his meds. But do you see your future? Do you know what life has in store for you tomorrow? And here comes Pete tomorrow when he knows the hell what it feels to be like ye. And you know what is the difference between ye and Pete? Um, the difference is ye has the strength to move on even without a support system. And that is something that people really do not give Kanye much credit for. And we need to start, you know, giving people credit where credit is due because just imagine being with Kim over a decade and he was like, you know, keep all my things. I don't care about them. And he tried his best to move on and he's moving on and they're not allowing him to move on. And when we saw Ye going off, going off on the paparazzis, telling them to leave him and his current wife alone, many people could not understand it. And now we're hearing a lot about Kim and Pete. Kim and Pete, why are we hearing so many allegations of Kim and Pete possibly being back together? It is because Kim is hoping, I believe, that she overfloods the media 
and Meg, it seems as though she and Pete have this ideal relationship because Kim wants to go um, back to triggering Ye, but she needs to realize that Ye has moved on. Ye is out of that you know, phase and he's not going back into it. There's nothing she can do at this point to break his soul. So she can stay there and play a little mind games, but Pete wants to go off on her. I'm learning and I can believe that it is true, if not half true, because if you guys remember, it was a couple months ago when we learned that Kim, um, Pete, sorry, was returning to SNL, it is said that Pete has decided not to go off on Kim. He's going to be a good sport. But now we're learning that he had signed a NDA. He wants to go off on her publicly, but he cannot because of the NDA that he had signed and he had gotten some money. So if he goes off, Kim is going to hit him with a major lawsuit and no one knows better than Pete how Kim rose with that major lawsuit because I mean he has to be paying some amount of um, attention to all the media reports of Kim and not just that the clips of Kim threatening people with her giants of lawyers so i believe it is keeping pete you know in a box and just imagine him having to wanting to vent publicly but having to keep his mouth quiet but what is the good thing is that i'm learning that the people in his circle you know they're very considerate they're encouraging him to talk to a therapist which he's doing and you know the friends are you know just rallying their support around him but honey let me tell you i cannot even begin to imagine what pete is going through and you know sometimes we say it is his karma and i definitely understand that and i can see where that you know is somewhat factual right but i also believe that you know um people should take accountability for their actions because he had no business being in Kim and Ye's marriage because the fact of the matter is he could have dated Kim without being involved in Kim and Kanye's business. Keep his mouth out of it, keep his foot out of it, but he went above and beyond to drive Ye crazy as though he was a rental car. Kim rented him for a journey and he was hell-bent on taking that journey. He wasn't thinking about morals, values, or anything. And that is what is just making him look questionable. And now you have to ask him, was it all worth it? Do you now see what Ye was going through? Do you now feel how it felt to be Ye? And you know what's even more, um, you know, ridiculous about this is the fact that Pete was only with Kim for less than a year. Just imagine Ye, who was married to her and with kids. So I cannot even begin to imagine how unstable Pete is. And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful with to anyone with mental health um, disorders, but I'm just saying if Pete had spent such a short time around Kim, and he wants to go off on her publicly, you definitely have a sense of how unstable this guy is. And if Kim knew that Pete was this unstable, um, you know, based on what is being reported, if she knew or had any idea, why did she have the kids around him? That's a big question. Like, why did you have someone who is so unstable around the kids while the kid's father weren't allowed around his kids. Do you see how, um, you know, revengeful Kim can be without even thinking twice of her actions and what it may do to people? And that is because Kim doesn't care about anyone other than herself at the end of the day. 
but I just wanted to bring this out here to you guys to share with you. Let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think that Pete actually want to go on a public rampage about Kim and throw her under the bus? Or do you think that it's all made up? I want to hear from you all. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care and see you all later. Peace.